How's it going, everybody? We're back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We got some exciting stuff to do today. We got the fusion ready to go. I'll tell you how much money that cost me on this pretty new account. We'll actually unlock him. We'll look at his kit, talk about it, see where we can possibly use him. I got some Raid Shadow Legends experts in the stream with me right now, including my man, Daddy Rorks, who's been kind of my Raid Shadow Legends guide. Before we do that, before we get into that, rather, I got some really exciting news. Raid Shadow Legends, in the partnership with me, has increased the benefit of trying Raid Shadow Legends for the first time. If you download the game using that QR code in the bottom right corner, now in the middle of the screen, or with the link in the comment section below and in the description, they are upping the rewards. So for the fifth anniversary until the end of the promotion, we have a new pack available to players who download using that code. Worth $100. So we're going to get one epic hero, Tyrell. Tyrell is a high elf character. He's a defense character, and he is really, really good. I had to look up this character, get some opinions from my guys, and he looks great. So he's a great high elf character. If you pair him with Elhane as a starter character, you'll have two super good high elves to help you immediately burst through that section in the faction wars i've also heard he is amazing in the doom tower so super excited that raid shadow legends is going to be giving this character to players who start again using that qr code in the bottom corner but it doesn't stop there they're also going to give you five xp boosts 500,000 silver five energy refills and five rank up chickens at rank three right from the start so you're going to be able to bring up your starter character to rank four almost immediately plus have one left over and then after you reach level 25 more awesome rewards so 25 arcane potions five epic books which will be really good to help you get your tyrell's abilities up uh, another 500,000 silver, five more energy refills, and five magic potions. Once again, that'll help you get your Tyrell up and running. And this is only available until Raid's fifth anniversary ends. So if you're going to download the game, now is definitely the time to do it. Head on over there, get this amazing character for free once again using that QR code or downloading using the link in the comment section below and in the description. All right, let's get into this right now. So we got the portal. It took me forever to get this fusion ready. So for those who don't know, I can't even do him anymore. He's gone. All right, so uh, there was uh, character shards available in events. There's definitely an event I can still show here. No, not that one. It'll be in tournaments, I suppose. Well, it was this guy right here. Um, so you were able to get fragments for this character from various events. You needed to get him unlocked four times and then built him up. So it's about 16 events that I had to compete. Now, if I'm being honest with you guys, I did have to drop money because as a fairly new player, I did not have, um, the resources built up, the hordes, the shards, all that built up in order to get him. So I did drop and, and cover your ears, everybody. I dropped about 250 Canadian dollars to be able to complete all the events. I probably will never do that again. It's a little bit out of my budget for this, but it's a business sense for me. This character looks really fun, and I wanted to make this video for you guys, so hopefully you enjoy it. But this fusion event did require you to have this character, four versions of him, fully ascended and ranked up to the fifth star, and I got all that done. So let's go ahead. Uh, Champion is unlocked. Yes, here we go. We're going to unlock our first fusion character ever. Excited for that? Bam, bam, bam. Why can't I do this? Oh, we just gotta do it like this. Okay, here we go. I was a little confused there. So this will be our first fusion character. He looks super cool. He's really good in the arena, but I heard he's good elsewhere. So here we go. We're doing it ahead of time. Four days ahead of time. Let's go. 1,000 silver. Holy moly. But we need this. We need this. We've been fighting for this. Here we go. Boom. Oh, I love the yellow. And here he is. So Armand's the Magnificent. He's the sport character from the Barbarian. So very much looking forward to crushing the faction war with this character now. As I did need a Barbarian leader. Not that leader is not a thing or anything like that. But he's going to be really good. Um, let's look at his skills. Sorry about that quick edit, guys. Did the, the footage corrupted, unfortunately. So let's go over his kit once again. And let's take him into the battle. Especially into the arena. Because that's where this character is going to shine very, very brightly. So... If we look at his A1, he is going to be attacking one enemy, 35% chance of increasing the cooldown of a random active skill by two turns. This is really impactful. And then fills this champion's turn meter by 10% for each turn added to the cooldown. So this is great. So if he does it by two turns, he'll get 20% speed bar, increasing the amount of turns he's taking overall. When we look at the rest of his abilities, that's dope. He has buff debuff chance up to 20% if he gets his tomes, bringing that up to 55%. I really like that. I think there's a lot of characters who get no value if they get their legendary tomes into the A1 abilities. This character is definitely not one of those. His A2 attacks all enemies. 
steals all the turn meter, all the turn meter, of each target except enemies under sheep debuffs. Also places a stun debuff for one turn on all enemies not under a sheep debuff. Then there's this A3, place a sheep debuff on an enemy for one turn. This debuff cannot be blocked, then has a 75% chance of removing all buffs from all enemies. Fill this champion's turn meter by 5% for each buff removed. So we're going to be getting a lot of speed meter for him again. Once again, the tome's looking good here, and the tomes for this attack are probably the most important we really want to get level 4. We want that cooldown to come, because this is so impactful. Stealing everybody's turn meter and putting a stun on them? Bonkers. Alright, then whenever a sheep debuff is removed or expires on an enemy, increase the cooldown of a random active skill on that enemy to its max. Fill this champion's turn meter by 10% for each turn added to the cooldown. If there are multiple champions on the team with this skill, only one will activate. So, he gets a lot of turn bar, he's doing a lot of control effects, which means we really, really want to have a good accuracy stat on this character, and we probably want him to have good speed so that he's spamming these abilities. He does have that aura, so he's, he's giving 28% speed in Arena, which is cool. So I went over to the Hell Hades website, which is where I get most of my recommendations. I'm still pretty new, but uh, like I thought, speed and accuracy. Um, I would have preferred to go the perception set, but I just don't have that available to me right now. Like, I, I have pieces, but they're not very good. Um, any of these pieces, they're definitely subpar. I didn't get extra rolls into the speed or into the accuracy for the weapon. For the helmet, I got into attack percent, which I don't think he cares too much about. We did get one to accuracy for the shield, the gloves, one into speed, but no accuracy. The chest piece, no accuracy, but at least two speed. And then the boots, no accuracy, but at least the speed main stat. So definitely lacking what I think this character needs for accuracy to be able to do punch-ups. But we're going to try and do that anyway. I did get one to accuracy on the uh, necklace and then nothing on the ring, unfortunately. I'm actually not even sure if it can roll on the ring. Uh, I did get him up to five Ascend of Stars, which is why he's got this. He's going to be six stars probably by the next time we do a video, which he'll probably just make an appearance in because his character seems like really, really, really good. So let's go into Arena. Um, I have been playing around with it. It's been pretty impactful. Uh, I, like I said earlier, though, he is lacking um, accuracy in a big way, and it's super impactful. So I would actually be worried about these like bigger punch-ups. Let's try let's try this team right here with the Ronda Rousey. So we do have him as the leader because he's giving 28% speed to everybody, which is more than Deacon. It helps Deacon still goes first, so he still sets the stage, which I think is great. Um, but this combination, it's a pretty basic combination, right? Like I'm still new to the game, so basically I I'm like outspeeding them, and then I have a little bit of damage and a lot of nice debuffs, right? Okay, so you see right there, resisted both on the turn bar rewind, which means the stun doesn't come through, so it's probably not going to end well for our hero here today. But he did stun over here, which I think is really impactful, and then he throws a sheep over there. Um, I would be lying if I acted like I know what this character does, but maybe this character does a revive, in which case uh, the sheep buff is going to take away all the energy, giving Armon some more speed, and maybe he's going to lap back around and do another rewind, right? This is great. So I see if we got like a lot of control, this was like a 50,000 punch up, which is cool. I do imagine Ronda Rousey is just going to uh, butcher him pretty soon though. All right, this looked great. I, maybe my opponent's team was just as ill-formed as mine. I think mine is ill-formed. I don't have like a defense on spawn, so if I don't get to go first, I just instantly die. We do get the turn meter rewinds, which means I can kind of take two turns before they get one, which is really good. And Armand's is 100% facilitating that. But I need to build him up, right? Like, I got to get him. He's got to get his masteries. He's got to get more accuracy on his gear. And uh, some tomes would be fantastic. Let's try a truly big punch up. And I know she revives. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, I got some of these here. I, I got to do this for the, uh, the forge pass anyway. So let's go ahead and pick those up. All right, let's get back in there. Arena, classic arena. We were about to do these guys. All right, let's get in there. 159 to 101 again. Oh, that's not the team I was going to do. Where's the team I was going to do? These guys, 162. All right, so a 61,000 punch up, which maybe to you guys means nothing, but to me it seems like pretty substantial. So let's get in there. Let's see what happens. Now, of course, I could also make my throned be the leader, and she would give 50 accuracy, which would be huge. I would just worry not to go first. Okay, so we only rewound one person, but we did get a stun over here, so that's great. I do think we want to kill her here first, if we survive. Nice little counterattack comes through. 
I love that this stun actually landed because now he didn't do his thing. He's now gone. And she is still stunned. So she still hasn't taken a turn yet. And now she's sheeped. It's going to steal all her energy, which is great. Let's get back on her. So you can see, like, his kit 100% facilitates big punch-ups. But he, need, he himself definitely wants to be built up. Like, he definitely wants... A good accuracy stat. I think he's even though he's getting lots of speed bar, I think he would thrive with a good uh, speed stat as well. So I'm definitely excited to build this character up. I'm also excited to see what he's going to do in um, the Doom Tower for me. And against certain bosses like the Spider Boss and maybe the Fire Knight and kind of like that kind of bosses. So was it worth 250 bucks? I'm enjoying it. I Yeah, I, I think... Definitely up my arena game. He's not in his final form yet, so still lots of room to grow, especially in those masteries, right? Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking about this character. If you are new to Raid Shadow Legends, make sure you download using that QR code over there for all the goodies we talked about, including that epic Tyrell, all the silver, the epic books, which is really nice. Lots and lots of stuff to sink your teeth into. If you're going to start uh, during this anniversary event, you get so much good stuff. Oh, looks like he died there. Not that big a deal. Alright guys, have yourselves a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.